Well, Finland is officially a member of NATO. The Finnish president and U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony uh, Blinken, are in Brussels for this event. And with this, Russia's Western neighbor becomes the 31st member of the U.S.-led military alliance. The move has infuriated Moscow. Moscow branded the event as a quote-unquote assault on its security. Kremlin has also pledged countermeasures. The enlargement of NATO is a threat to Russia's security and its national interests. We talked about this, that's how we see this. And of course, it makes us take countermeasures to provide for our own security, tactically and strategically. Russia sees NATO at its border as an existential threat, so Finland's accession is a setback for Russian President Vladimir Putin, as Finland's accession doubles the length of Russia's border with NATO. When Russia invaded Ukraine last year, preventing NATO's eastward expansion was cited as a reason. But with Finland's accession, NATO did come to the doors of Russia in the Northwest. Russia is... 31 flags flying together as a symbol of our unity and our solidarity. On this day, on the 4th of April, 1949, the Washington Treaty was signed to create a shield against aggression and the fear of aggression. For almost 75 years, this great alliance has shielded our nations, and it continues to do so today. But war has returned to Europe, and Finland has decided to join NATO and be part of the world's most successful alliance. This has been the fastest accession process in NATO's modern history. Finland and Sweden applied for membership last May. In June, at our summit in Madrid, every ally invited them to join. And today, less than a year later, we welcome Finland as a full member of our alliance. I look forward to also welcoming Sweden into the alliance as soon as possible. Finland is safer and NATO is stronger with Finland as an ally. Your forces are substantial and highly capable. Your resilience is second to none. And for many years, troops from Finland and NATO countries have worked side by side as partners. From today, we stand together as allies. This sends a clear message that every nation has the right to choose its own path, that NATO's door remains open and no one can close it with force or coercion. NATO is a community united by our values, freedom, democracy and the rule of law. We stand together, we protect and defend each other, all for one and one for all. President Ninesto uh, der Sauli, I'm glad to be here together with you on this great day. Thank you for your outstanding leadership and your tireless work to make this day possible. I'm glad and I'm proud to be the Secretary General that welcomes Finland fully into the NATO family. Welcome to the Alliance. of Finland will now deliver his address. Maintenant, le président de la Finlande va prendre la parole. Secretary General Stoltenberg, dear Jens, ministers, excellencies, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Finland has uh, today become the 31st uh, member of NATO. The era of uh, military non-alignment 
in our history has come to an end. A new era begins. Each country maximizes its own security. So does Finland. NATO membership strengthens our international position and uh, room for maneuver. As a partner, we have already long actively participated in uh, NATO activities. As an ally, Finland will contribute to NATO's collective deterrence and defense. Membership of the alliance uh, provides security for Finland. Finland, on the other hand, provides security for the alliance. Finland committed uh, to the security of all NATO member states uh, will be a reliable ally that uh, strengthens regional stability. Finland's uh, membership is not targeted against anyone, nor does it change the f foundations or objectives of Finland's foreign and security policy. Finland is a stable and predictable Nordic country that seeks peaceful resolution of disputes. The principles and values that are important to Finland will continue to guide our foreign policy also in the future. NATO membership does not change everything, but uh, being an ally requires Finland to adopt new ways of thinking and some changes in legislation as well. <clears throat> A lot has already been done. For years, we have developed our NATO compatibility. There's still considerable work ahead to integrate Finland's uh, defense as part of uh, NATO's common defense. The Finnish defense forces are facing new demands and uh, challenges to which we must respond. At the same time, it is clear that Finland's most significant uh, contribution to NATO's collective deterrence and defense is built on the security and defense of our own territory. In this respect, the Finland, Finnish concept uh, of uh, comprehensive security retains its value. But we no longer do this work alone. Last year, Finland applied to join NATO together with Sweden. As I have stressed, Finland's membership is not complete without that of Sweden. Our persistent efforts for a rapid Swedish membership will continue. I look forward to seeing Sweden join us as the 32nd member at the Vilnius Summit in July. To add up, uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Secretary General, dear Jens and your people. Your help has been very important. Uh, you have been packing us in every moment uh, of this procedure. We really give a lot of value to that and to our partners. Thank you. Finland's flag will now be raised while the national anthem is played. It will be raised simultaneously at NATO headquarters and NATO's two strategic commands, ACO headquarters in Mons, Belgium, and ACT headquarters in Norfolk, Virginia. Nous allons maintenant procéder au lever du drapeau de la Finlande au son de l'hymne national. Les couleurs seront levées simultanément au siège de l'OTAN et aux deux commandements stratégiques de l'OTAN. La CEO à Mons, Belgique, et la CT à Norfolk, Virginie.
The NATO hymn will now be played. And maintenant, l'hymne de l'OTAN. Really, we were watching history in the making as Finland becomes officially a member of NATO. We heard NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg speaking, and then after that, the Finnish president, uh, both expressing optimism that Sweden will be next. And then we saw shots of the flag raising uh, ceremony as well.